Hey guys, Vinny from StockFacts, and today's video is about a $1.9 billion SPAC merger deal with a LiDAR company named Ouster. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And before we get started, can you guys please hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, click that notification bell. You know the drill. It really helps me out. It really helps out the channel. I would appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, before I talk about Ouster and their SPAC deal, I want to mention the LiDAR market as a whole and its compound annual growth rate, which looks to be exploding and will grow exponentially over the next 10 years. From 2017, when the LiDAR market was worth around $300 million, it's projected that in 2028, it'll be worth around $8 billion. This is obviously one of the sectors in the stock market with stocks like Luminar, Velodyne, Valio, Microvision, Magna International, Aptiv, Innoviz Technologies, which is another company going public via SPAC merger with Collective Growth Corporation, ticker symbol CGRO. This is definitely a sector to make some good money in over the next few years. Whether you're a short-term trader or a long-term investor, there is definitely opportunity for big profit lying ahead. The subject of today's video is Ouster, a LiDAR company going public via SPAC with Colonnade Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol CLA, in a $1.9 billion deal. Ouster is based in San Francisco and was founded in 2015. The company's business model is a bit different than some of the other companies in the sector. Instead of only targeting automakers, they have cast a wider net to diversify business. They build high-resolution 3D sensors for autonomous vehicles, robotics, drones, mapping, defense and security systems, and mining and agricultural companies. They currently have four different LiDAR models with the most recent one coming in 2020 of January, where that one was specifically designed for navigating urban environments and warehouses. The company already has worked with close to 20 different distributors in 15 different industries in 50 different countries. They've also been working with NVIDIA and Volvo to develop a self-driving system for commercial vehicles. When the merger does happen, Ouster shareholders will roll over 100% of their equity into the combined company. Ouster has raised $140 million so far from its investors, and some of those investors are Fontanellis Partners, Carthona Capital, Runway Growth Capital, Cox Automotive, Amity Ventures, Red Bus, Hone Capital. And as far as their revenue goes, they have over a 12-month period grown 62% and doubled their customer base since 2019. And some of those customers include Cone Cranes, Postmates, Ike, May Mobility, Kodiak Robotics, Coast Autonomous, the U.S. Army, NASA, Stanford University, and MIT. In the third quarter of 2020, their bookings have gone up around 209%. So obviously, this company, it, you know, the numbers sound really good. And being the fact that this is in an extremely hot sector, you would think that this stock is most likely going to jump up. I am personally invested in this company, but... To be honest, is is the company going to work out in the long term? Is it going to be a long term investment? How could you tell? Can can anyone really know the answer to that? I do not know because of the sector they're in. I am basing my investment right now on a sentiment play. Yeah, their numbers do sound good. They they have been operating over the past few years successfully. But let's face it, right now with all the different lidar companies out there. Check their stocks. Most of them have jumped up. And if I'm going to make a little bit of money in the short term, I have no problem with that. As far as the long term, we'll see what happens after the merger and what the company has in store. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please comment, 
hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.